Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, I'm going to be setting up my brand new shelf. So, let's get started. All right, everybody, so I just built this shelf today. Actually, my dad and I built it, and this took a long time. So right now, it is... 10 p.m. I know it's kind of late, but I really do want to set this up because I really want to get these boxes out of my room And I know not everything's gonna fit like every single Pokemon card or every single mystery mini or U2s But I at least want to put my favorite stuff on that shelf right there And also if you guys have been around for a while You've probably seen most of this stuff in videos before because this is the stuff that was on my shelves in my original setup So these here are going to be going on to this right here And I think that this looks a lot smaller on camera. I will say like me next to it It's just a little bit shorter than I am and and I'm like six foot two and a half, six foot three. So this really is a massive shelf and we're gonna be trying to put as much as we possibly can on it. While still making it look good, of course, so I think the first thing I wanna do is take everything off the shelf and then I wanna take the U2s, unbox them because I did put them all in their box to bring them to this house and then I'm gonna put the boxes in the back of the shelf to almost give it a kind of U2s backdrop. Because if you guys look here, I have two boxes full of just u 2 So these are going to look great on the shelves and I'm really excited to see what they'll all look like when I put them in. Well, actually guys, before I take the U2s out of their boxes, I wanna clear a path right next to the shelf there so I have easy access to all 12 squares. All right, so I just started putting the first U2s onto the shelf here, and look at this, guys. So, two U2s high fit perfectly fine. There's a bit of a gap at the top there, but I'm totally okay with that, so that way they don't get squished on the shelf. But, as soon as I try to put them three across, it's just a little bit too wide. So, we're gonna need to think of something else here. All right, everybody, so this isn't ideal, but this is probably what I'm gonna have to do. Do two facing forward, and then the one facing sideways there. So, we won't be able to see all of the boxes, but I was gonna do them probably too deep because of how deep these shelves actually are so you wouldn't be seeing the back boxes anyways so I think it's okay. Plus another thing is the goal is to not have any of the figures from these ones here at least with the U2s in their boxes so really it's just going to be the boxes that are hidden and not the entire figure so I think it's fine. Alright everybody, so I've taken 12 U2s out of their boxes so far. So 12 boxes fit inside of there, but then the problem is, is that I can really only put 5 well. Like, I mean, you're not going to be able to see the other ones if I put them there, so I'm going to need to figure that out. But for now, I think it fits a lot of boxes, I just need to now fit a lot of figures inside of one of these little squares here. So, I'm going to keep working, but I'm also going to keep taking some out of the boxes and kind of filling the back row like that right there. Alright everybody, so I have been going now for probably another 20 minutes. I've just been taking a lot of U2s out of their boxes. So you guys can see here, this box is pretty much completely empty now. We have very few left in here. And then we also have this box, which I haven't even touched yet. But this is what it's starting to look like. Um, I think the ones on the top are not gonna be staying there. They're just to give me a bit of room when I'm putting the boxes down there. But I do think it is starting to look kind of good with the amount of figures that I've put on there so far. The only problem I'm having now, and I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but it kind of worked okay with the Peanuts ones. But I would like to kind of do it where there are two levels and not just one. But We'll figure that out later. What am I doing? Change in hand, put one, put it in one hand, and write in another one. And if I'm gonna be honest, everybody's gonna see that. If I'm gonna be honest, people do think I am a little shaky when I film. <laughs> well, you are a little shaky. <laughs> All right, everybody, so it is a little bit later, and here is where I'm at so far, and I wanna show you guys what I've got on the shelves. This is every single U2s that I have, and it is a lot, a lot of U2s, probably about maybe 50 or 60 that I have in hand. So what I'm gonna be doing is probably cleaning it up a little bit later on, but for now we're just putting them on the shelves. So next up here, I wanna go through some more of the boxes and I think we're gonna be doing Funko Pops next. So let's do these guys right here. Okay guys, now this is funny. I was doing this shelf over here, trying to do the two packs as well as a single pop because it doesn't fit three across like normal. So we have to do like a smaller two pack as well as the normal pop because the two packs kind of are like a pop and a half in box, not two Two pops all the way across. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just go put my Simpsons Kang and Kodos in here. It's too wide by like that much. Do you guys see that there? Look at how close that is. It's just not making it by such a small amount. And then if I try to put it up top, it's too tall. I can't put this thing on the shelf. It sucks. I love this pop. Well, I guess instead of putting it up here next to my vision, we're gonna have to put it down here. Kind of sucks, but we'll live with it for now. And another thing, I swear I had more two packs than I think I've got like four 
including the Kang and Kodos one. I thought I had like six or seven and it would have been perfect with just like a single pop and then the other one, but for some reason I only have the four and I don't know where the rest of them went, nor do I remember having any other ones, but I swear there must have been more of them in these bins somewhere because I definitely had more than just those ones there. But anyways, we'll find them eventually, but for now I'm gonna keep digging around through this box here because this one has a couple more figures I think I could put in that square there and then we're also going to be doing the fig pins and then I think we're gonna wrap it up for today because it is almost one in the morning. So one thing that I did find about this section here is that I can do a pop forward and then a pop sideways and then a pop forward again. It doesn't look great but I can live with it for now. So the next thing that I want to do is take out my big Buzz Lightyear and put it on the top of the shelf because that's where it's supposed to be. All right guys, so this is where the Buzz Lightyear is probably gonna go, somewhere on top of the shelf right there with the limited edition 360 pieces. This is my rarest figure and also I just happen to have pretty much every single why do I have so many together there's four YouTubes that have been canceled right next to each other. I really gotta get these things off my shelf. I wanted to take a quick break for a second because I went on to Surlent Pops' Instagram and they do a thing every week where they show off the pops that are getting more and more expensive and some of them here are like the big boy, which is at, jeez, 460. And then we also have, hold on, I have all of these figures. Scrappy-Doo coming in at, jeez, $80. These are getting more and more expensive and I didn't even know that these ones were getting expensive. And look at this one, guys. We also have the Funko Hollywood exclusive Chester Cheetah coming in at $85. Jeez, that's crazy. And actually there was one more that they did post and this one is the Anakin Skywalker coming in at $135. I don't know if I own this one. I feel like I do. If I do, I don't know where it is. Oh, and also, if anybody's wondering, I did finish off some of the fig pin sections, if you guys want to see them here. Yes, they are a little bit dusty, but I will be dusting them off. Like I said before, I really am just trying to put stuff on shelves to show you guys what it's kind of going to look like. So there is this one, and then we also made a second one just over here, and I think that these two sections really do look great. I do have a couple extras, but I will be getting more fig pins in in the future, so I'll probably just make another shelf of them right here next to the other two. All right, now I did want to show you guys the next one, but it looks like Sirline Pops just posted another one, and the one is the Chase Vision, and do you guys see what that is going for? And again, this is one that I do own. It is now going for $75. Jeez! And well, all right, guys, this seems to be as far as we're going to be getting for today because it is now, what, Jeez, already almost 2 a.m. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys would like to see more display videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below because I would love to do more of these in the future because they really are fun to do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and no, there's no wheel today, guys. I'm sorry, I am not at the office right now, so I don't have the wheel. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys wanna see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. Fold. 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 School. School. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump. On a bone. bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Hey. Lama lashes.